So Bernie's right about to go to sleep, so I thought while his eyes are still open. wide open just before but he's about to go to sleep so I thought I'd do a super quick one week update mm. um, so the first week's been super cruisy he's sleeping really well at night he does wake up obviously probably every four to six hours so he'll wake up twice in the night I say twice that's twice between about 11 and 6 so like I'll wait till that 10.30 or 11 feeding before I go to bed. Most nights. I think I was asleep by 8.30 last night. Yeah, so um, I usually wait till the 11. 10.30, 11. Never a dull moment in this house. You got entertainment on demand, huh? Yeah. Um, so yeah, take three. I wait till that 10.30, 11 feeding. There's a big feed and a bum change then. And then it's usually anywhere between two and three, and then six, anywhere between six and eight. So that's usually how our night goes. Oh, it's a big yawn. He's so content, so chill. He gets passed around everyone. This is the longest he's been awake at one time. Um, it's probably been a good half an hour, 40 minutes, but for the most part, he's only sort of awake. 10 to 15 minutes at a time and that's not every time he wakes up either most often he just has a boob and goes back to sleep he's probably awake once in the morning and once in the evening such time wasters eh when you can just sit there and stare at them all day oh we're getting a little bit fussy ready for a sleep um his umbilical cord fell off um exactly one week we're a couple of days past one week now, but when he was exactly seven days old, which was on my birthday, the um, dry part of his umbilical cord fell off. Uh, we had a midwife appointment on that day. They came and weighed him, and he was pretty much exactly the same weight as when he was born. So he, he will have lost and has come back up to birth weight now. I hope this has been recording my voice the whole time, because my... If phones have been plugged in, I have to play it back and see before I upload it. Hey. Um, he does have a dummy. Not all the time, but when he's either sleeping and just wants to suckle because I, I get real sore nipples in the first in those first few weeks, so It's nice someone else can hold him and he can still have his dummy and not have to be on the boob, on my sore boobs. But they've chilled out a bit now. My milk came in day three. Four, well, it was, it was through the, the night of the third day. So, like, in the middle of the night coming on to day four. So that night was a bit rough because we had a bit of gorging and spewing and figuring it out. Hey, Chanka. Yeah. So um, that was really the only rough, I'd say rough night that we've had. That was probably still pretty cruisy compared to some people's um, nights with a newborn. Uh, all of mine have been pretty good sleepers uh, at night. They all dropped naps real early. What do you ask? He's really, really good at holding his head up. Mm, his hair is quite dark at the moment. I don't know if that'll lighten or fall in, fall out. Lilia's was very dark. My first was very dark like this as well. And she kept all her hair, but it lightened up in the summer. His eyes, I'm unsure of the color at the moment. They're either blue or like that baby gray. Um... It'd be a really cute combination to have dark hair and blue eyes, especially with his, he's got a very olive skin tone. He's very dark like my first. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, super good at holding his head up. He's done it since day one. 
um, which makes it easier as well for the others to hold him. Yeah, they're still learning to support his neck properly, but he's got no shortage of cuddles. Everybody wants to hold him all the time, so there's always somebody sitting with him. And uh, especially my oldest uh, will sit for ages with him. She, they all absolutely love him. And my youngest, so his next next sibling up, wants to cuddle him all the time. Thinks thinks he's her baby. Um, but she doesn't sit for as long. She kind of gets over it pretty quickly. He doesn't do a lot at this stage. She's ready to play with him. And he's not there yet. But yeah, overall he's just such a happy, chill, cruisy baby. Um, doesn't like to have his nappy off. Uh, I've been weed on twice. <laughs> it was a long time. It was almost a whole week before I even saw him wee. Um, so that was interesting for me. <laughs> After four girls. And so I suppose that time it didn't, it, it wasn't, I didn't get weed on. I just saw him start weeing. So I put the, put the wipe up to kind of rebound it so we didn't get a mess and then it was today that I actually got weed on like I wasn't watching and I felt the warmth yes oh, different one well they're playing a game um yeah it doesn't like to have his nappy off or his clothes off which I find interesting because all my other kids loved love to have no clothes on but I suppose it is a bit chilly we've been sleeping in the lounge on a mattress co-sleeping he's been sleeping with me um and we've got the fireplace so it's been nice and toasty in here and he's just absolutely gorgeous and I think that is about it for our one week update hey Bodhi yeah. He's, he's on. Oh, I think he's trying to fill his pants. He's in cloth. He's in cloth in the day and um, disposable at night so that we don't have to change in the night unless he poops. Because we can't have you lying in there all night, can we? Especially when it's sticky. Um, I find him, I think, maybe a little bit gassy. Nothing extra but um if he does need to burp or he does need to poop then we do get a little bit of upsetty gruntles but yeah he's just he's so chill and just so happy and just so easy <laughs> and i'm probably jinxing it and he's going to turn into a terror <laughs> no i don't know he's very energetic um he moves around all the time and even in his sleep which i expected because he moved around in my belly all the time too and yeah, he holds his neck up really well, so could have an early mover, early crawler, early walker, or not. He might just be super chill, and time will tell, huh? Alright, well I've rambled on enough, we're almost at 10 minutes, so um, yeah, that's it for Mr. Bodie's one week update, and um, I'll do another one next week. Less than a week, because we're actually a couple of days past. Alright, thanks for anyone watching. And you'll see us later.